Yep. Back out. Again. After I was going to go on Friday, but the weather was just awful. Horrible. Wind, rain. I think it was a storm, wasn't it? A storm came over. So I didn't go out, didn't bother. Just had enough of it. Um, on Saturday I went out with my family, my family. So I've got a, a window of opportunity, eh? it's Monday night and I am at work tomorrow, but I don't start. There's a job in the town, I don't start at like 10 o'clock. I'll get there for about 10, be fine. So I've got my work van. All my work clothes, just get changed. Come down early enough in the morning, get some breakfast, and then go to work. Meanwhile, camp in the bag. Done, let me fix. I'll get me fix of camping. If it kills us. It is killing us now, can't it be so? Something a little bit different. Wait till you see, wait till you see where I'm going. You won't believe it. You'd be like Victor Meldrew. That stupid boy. Something. So there is plenty good eating here. Nice. Oh, did I make a messy hands off? Mm. Nice man. Little bursts of vitamin C if you keep a hold of them. Always go for the ones high up. Because you know dogs and that. The ones lower down as you wear. Anyway. Ah flies, I hope we're not going to get bullet by flies. Not windy in here. So just come off road. What I'm going to say is, if you know where this place is, uh, don't mention it. Don't say in the comments and don't ask because I'm not getting let, let on. I want to just be selfish about it and uh, I'll keep it to myself. If you know where it is, you know. If you don't, then I'm afraid you're gonna have to do some research. It took me years to find this place. I found it years ago, should I say. Oh, it's really wet. And um Oh I came oh I came at night. Because I used to come up here walking at night a lot. Just to, you know, finish work, go for a hike. And this was our come through place. There's a lot more trees up the back of there when I used to come in. And it was a lot, um, it was a lot denser as well. I don't know. It doesn't look like we've chopped trees down. There's a few stumps. I can always remember walking along, and not being able to see this place from the path. But anyway, I digress. Oh, watch out! Ugh, it's buggy. Yeah, there's wind, that's why I need a bit of wind there. Keep the flies off. But it's uh, a little cave. And I mean a little cave. Only one person can fit inside here. Because I remember coming, like I said, years ago. Me and my mate came, we both tried to squeeze in, it was hilarious. And uh, yeah, we both got in, but. There's no way it was going to be comfortable. But I always thought, I'll come back here and I'll camp overnight in there. So, that's what I'm planning to do. A cave camp. I'm going to buy a new GoPro as well. Have you heard this? There's something inside this camera rattling and it's dead annoying. I can't find it. Ugh. Look at that sky. It's cloudy, it's been raining. I don't know what the forecast is, but I'm in trouble deep because I forgot to bring a raincoat. 
forgot to bring a raincoat. Um, a, a coat, like a jacket for later, if it gets cold. I've got a t-shirt and a fleece. Hopefully that'll be enough. What else did I forget? I forgot something else. Burger sauce. Got the burgers, like. <laughs> of course. I'm gonna start changing. I'm not gonna keep doing burgers. It's basically just an emergency. Ooh, right, yeah, I'm nearly here. I'm drenched, all these ferns are soaking. But that's okay. Because we are here. Suppose you're a push, right? You get under there in your bivy. There's definitely been people here before. Oh, I forgot a torch, that's right. I just got a new torch and I forgot it, which is just amazing. There we go. So I'm gonna get in there. Looks dry enough, doesn't it? It's been raining and it looks dry in there, so that's handy. There's the entrance. It'll be fun getting in there. And that's where I can hang about. Surveying the land. Looking out for marauders. Right, we'll get sorted. Yes. Right. Here we go. Put me back in. Bloody hell. There's no standing room, but I'm in. Can I see us? <laughs> what am I doing? Ugh. I've got a camper van, man. Oh yeah, bugger. Come and have a look inside my little house. My little hobbit house. Oosh. Ferns are gonna have to go. Oh. Seems dry enough. It's got a bit of mushroom there. Ah, it's dry. It's been a lot of rain here as well. So I think if I have, I've got my bivy bag, I've got a ground sheet, that's off the that's off the, the tent that I use. I just peg it down. Got my bivy bag, sleeping bag and my mat. I'll just put them inside each other. Should be alright. People have stayed in here before. Like it looks like signs of a fire in here. You shouldn't have a fire in here like there's nowhere for the there's nowhere for the um, smoke to go. Oh, you'd get smoked out in here, definitely. Right, I'm gonna set up, set this stuff up, and we'll come back. But this is my view. Look, in the view that way, and see they've built a wall. That that wall is man-made, definitely. You can see along the path there. See if there's anybody coming. Mm hmm. Oh my god, because it's a work night. That's it. Have a cup of tea when I get sorted out as well. Chalking for a cup of tea, like. Right, here we go. I'm going to get the um, ground sheet down. Make sure I put the seal on the bottom. Solid rock. Where's the point? Where's the point, the sisters? The pegging point, the sisters. The pegging point, the sisters. What? I've never heard anything like it. Oh yeah. It's all just um, sitting up on a rock, but. I'm not going to be able to peg it down. Just going to have to rely on it not moving around. Oh, should be alright. Should be okay. Right, so, bivy bag is the Alp Kid Hunker XL. Right, 
That's the stuff circuit comes in. It's attached to the bar plate. If anybody knows, anybody fancies it, X, get the XL one. Much more space in them. It's not very comfortable. I'll get the mat down there. See if the mat will be alright. On the bottom there. Yeah. That's it. Oh. I like the length. Oh. oh yeah. That's it. And the head here. Looking up at the rock. Just hope it doesn't drop, you know, if it caves in and drops on us in the middle of the night. Being bothered then. I think it'll be alright actually. I think it's been here for like thousands of years, so. Unless tonight is really me look unlucky night, I should be okay. There's people over there, there's people on the path just walking past there that had no idea I was here. None. Drafty. Needs a bit of pointing. I'm going to use that stone there as my cooking stand. Just put the stove on there, it'll be okay. Right, good. If I want mushrooms in my burger. Uh, right, so we're going to get the rest of this set up and then we'll come back and we'll see what's what. I've got my little radio over this just to ease the boredom. I've been entombed in a tiny little cave. I ah, do not. Couldn't get to in. Well, you know what, right? You probably could. You probably could get to. Not a push, you, your head would be up there, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah, but you might get two people in. Tight though. Get stalker, get stalker in. He loves a cave. <laughs> Guarantee he'll not come in here. This is what I want to do if I leave. I've got to be low, keep low. Yeah. Gotta stay low. <laughs> low again. <laughs> oh, God, I'm getting all kinds of around. What's gonna be on me tomorrow? Anyway, look at that to me cozy little den. Mint. I should have brought the flex tail tiny repel as well. Put it at the door. There's a few little things getting in, coming in. Creatures, creatures of the night. There'll be plenty of creatures of the night later. I'm telling you, and that light goes off. Oh, there we go. Views. See, yeah, it's got all this was trees, like you couldn't really make your way through this. It's really dense. And they've just chopped them all. The tracks are over there, that's where they went in. Just took them all. Didn't think they'd do that in this forest. I thought it was like a public sort of protected. I don't know what these are. Like laurel, laurel leaves, but I don't think they're big enough. You know, you make a laurel wreath. They're not rowan berries because they're red hair up there. Hmm, interesting. Just don't eat them. That's all. Anyway, I'm standing on my roof. Um, a little bit greasy. Now then, are these cup and ring markings from the Neolithics or not? I don't think so. There is a, um, a place way over that way with cup and ring markings on. But this is not it. Right. I'm going to get back in and finish setting up the gear. And then I'm going to get the kettle on. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's 
midges. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot. The tiny repel. Did I mention that? Did I say that? Anyway, I'm in me, me tomb. That's oh, nice and bright, that, isn't it? That's it. Nothing to see here. Just a man in his sleeping bag and his bivvy. So I don't think I'll uh, let water in here where I am. Um, as long as I bring all my stuff in a bit where there could be water, should be alright. <laughs> but yeah, got it all set up over there. There is midges though, that's a nightmare. Oh, why did I not bring that thing? What was I thinking? Because it's windy, I didn't think it was going to be midges. I should have thought I'm going in a cave. Idiot. Idiot. Right. <laughs> so here I am anyway. Here I am. Here I am. What the am I doing? It's just something different, isn't it? Just sitting in just sitting in a cave in the middle of a forest. Enjoying the night. Better than sitting in the house. It's not better than sitting in the house. I'll take that back. God, that light's bright. Uh, I'll take it all back. I should have stayed in. So when I, when I do eventually go to bed, I'll put my bag in that doorway there to stop honey badgers coming in. Or any other inquisitive creatures. But I'll be in my baby bag. There, don't things like that don't bother us. I've slept out in caves and out in the trees before, you know what I mean? It's nothing new really. It's just a different location. Same same things can get you. I've had a look on the ceiling, there's nothing really on there. There's no webs or anything. Which I'm surprised at. And there's one. I might end up with a few spiders in my mouth. That's just a leaf, but yeah, overall it's okay. This is nice and dry, and they've had a load of rain here, so uh, I don't think this lets the water in, which is good. Just as everything else gets in, that's a problem. <laughs> hey, lad, what am I doing? Captain Bloody Caveman. Ugh. Any new subscribers, welcome along. This is what I do. I try to mix it up, you see. I'm in a tent one week, busy the next week. I've been in the tent a lot the last few weeks, basically because the weather's been terrible. Um, but yeah, I normally like to mix it up a bit. I've got a few tents, busy bags, um, hammock camping, bike packing. Just try to keep it fresh, try and keep it fresh as I can. So this is a little bit different, but I have cave camped before. Mm, so I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get the tea on like it's getting on. What time is it now? It's eight o'clock. I've got the the pan, the faithful old pan. I'll swap the stove over. Get my hand sanitizer. I have got some. I know I keep saying that it never appears, but I have. Um, I've got the MSR stove tonight, which is good for cooking on. There's some strange goings on over there. There's like blue lights flashing. I don't know what's going on. Uh, right, so I'm gonna get the burgers on. I might have to put that top on as well to stop them biting. I'm not bit I'm not being bitten. It's being irritated. Right, hold on. Oh, not much to say. Just a man in a cave cooking burgers. What did you do? There's an owl out before, I can hear. An owl isn't happy with me being here. I don't know. I brought cheese this time, but I didn't bring the burger sauce. I'm um, never coming camping through the week, yeah. Got everything. I literally have forgotten everything. The main thing I could do with right now is um, a flex tail for the repel. Let's see if it works. That would be a good test in here. Like, I'll put it at the door there because the midges are coming in. But anyway, we'll crack on. We'll just plod on regardless. Might end up bailing out of this like. <laughs> Cheeseburgers. 
the only way it stops using the, the two bottoms is to hide the hide the tops over there. There you go. Burgers in a cave. Cave burgers. Ooh, I've invented cave burgers. Right, I'm gonna get out and have them outside because it's no good in here. Images. I'm hoping there's none out there with a the breeze and that. So we'll get out, take a beer. I'm gonna be in bed in an hour. And that get up early, you see. Right, I'll go outside. Burgers, cheeseburgers. Tell you what, I'm getting eaten alive here. Ah, I think I was better off in the cave. God, what happened to the wind? It's blowing a gale when I turn up. Ah. Oh, contrast. <laughs> I don't like it. Nice burger, though. Mmm. Very good. Ah! There's a lethal around here. Aye. So, I'm gonna have an early night. I was nearly falling asleep on the drive here. I've been up early this morning, been at work all day. But early night, hopefully won't get eaten alive in the little hole of doom. Look at it man. What am I doing? I like an old tramp. yet. It's a nice place though. So. I'm gonna get back in, back in there because I, I don't like it out here. Right, here we go. A few moments later. Oh I've got bad news. I'm bailing out here like I'm bailing out. They've all come in, all the midges have come in. I didn't bring the bloody repel, a midgey net, nothing. And to cap it all off, slugs of doom have appeared. Oh, it's just, oh, I can't do it. Like, it's not the right time of year to come here. I'll have to come back in the winter. Not to worry though, I have any burgers. I'll get home and I'll have a beer. Look at them all. Can you see them swarming? There is a lot of midges in here. And I cannot sleep in that. <laughs> what was I thinking? Ah, be gone, you horrible creatures of the night. Right, I'm gonna get packed up and away. To hell with this. <sighs> Horrendous. This is what happens when you forget all your gear. Right, lesson learned, eh? I'm getting absolutely nailed. <sighs> oh, I can't breathe for them. I'm inhaling them, everything. There's absolutely millions. Look, I've become the hooded figure in the woods. Oh, I've got to get back through here now. My flipping shoelaces are loose. That's a little path here. Oh, the cave. I'll be back. I think I'll come back in the winter when it's not so midgified. That word. Oh, anyway, I tried. It seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> oh man, I had no midgy net. Oh, I don't even think that would have been any good tonight. Like um, the tiny repel, I could have tried that out, but no, it just all went wrong. Oh. As soon as I, um, as soon as I got in the cave, oh, them burgers, they just swarmed, they just came in from nowhere, and there's millions of them. Oh, and then, of course, I put the light on, didn't I? Which made things ten times worse. If I can't have a light on in there, I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, not to worry.
lesson to be learned there. Don't forget Ugh, your midgy things. I just went down a huge hole. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. That's what it's like. Wow, they were irritating. You know what, right? I've lost the path. Oh, Christ. I break my neck here. I'm gonna break my neck. I'll leave all this in because it makes for excitement. Honestly, I have lost the path. I think it's up here. So, well, thanks for coming along anyway. If you got this far, look, see, got a big, massive pool of water there. If you got this far, stick them there. Cheers. Give it a thumbs down because. It's just a joke. I'll have to go back the way I came. Honestly, I've lost the path. I'm stuck in the woods. Stuck in the woods. I'll just find my way out and I'll come back on the path. If I can find it. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm out. What? Just must have took a wrong path. I mean, there's only like 100 yards between me and the path. I couldn't find it. Just kept falling down great big holes. <sighs> Out of breath. Alright. Things because the wind's dropped. The wind, which when I arrived was pretty strong, has just gone. None of the treetops are blowing anything. It's just died to death. That's what's brought them. So <sighs> thank you, wind. <laughs> It just ruins everything, doesn't it? If it doesn't blow, it ruins the camp. If it does blow, it ruins the camp. Ah, not to worry. It's a nice place to go and cook my tea. And see if them beers. Probably have them. Then I'll probably keep them for the weekend. But I'm just heading back down the track. Back to the van. And then home. Stop itching. And I'm absolutely destroyed by them midges. That was a proper full on attack, that. The rotten sods. Alright, so. Apologies, it wasn't a full camp. But you know, things change. There's no way I could have stayed in there. No, with no midge net on. If I'd had a head net, I probably would have stayed. But I had no protection from them. It would have just been a disaster, wouldn't it? Plus them slugs, they're getting your bloody, they're getting your ears in, up your nose, hideous things. Right, so, I'm out at the weekend anyway, so it'll be another video, hopefully. Um, I think I'm out with a couple of lads, a couple of mates. But for now, we'll see you. Don't forget, Take your midgy net. Listen. Strange noises. They're not still shooting over there, surely. I'll be in the sea. Right, I'll see you on the next one.